Okay, so we're here at Catania Museum this afternoon to have a look around. Now, obviously, I've never been here before, nor have I been to this country previously. So we've booked in for a tour guide of the actual museum itself. So I will turn the camera around as we're walking around, and obviously, you'll be able to hear the tour guide giving us some information in relation to this particular museum and the history behind it. Enjoy. been told by the tour guide that this in front of us is like a pendulum if you like when it moves it allows whoever's looking at it to know and notify them if there is an earthquake just look at this so you can just see it moving ever so slightly and that's because we've moved it So the tour guide has just been telling us that this church is the oldest church in Catania. Just take a look at this. So the tour guide has just been saying about this room that the paintings were done in the 1800s but there's no signatures actually to the paintings so they can't distinguish who's actually done them but according to the tour guide this specific room is the most important room in her opinion because the view which i'll show you in a second leads you out to the actual entrance to the museum itself and the monastery obviously it is what we are looking around Okay, so just take a look at this, the most important room because of this, the view. As I just said, what the tour guides has just informed us, shows you the entrance to the actual monastery. Some meters below the second floor, we are between the first and the second one. And we are walking on the lava bank of 1669, which you can see on my left. We have here uh, elements that were used by the monks, like this one that was a mortar built on lava, with lava stone that was used to grind spices like black pepper. The basins behind me were used to, to wash food and crockery. And you have to know that all this part of the monastery is built on lava stone. Is a it is a project of the architect Vaccarini. He used double pillars and vaults to build this place. And the vaults were filled with um, light elements like pottery and animal bones to make this uh, building elastic, flexible. And the architect Vaccarini built those arches to sustain the weight of the upper room. And he filled this room with materials and ground to sustain the weight of the upper floor. The university decided to empty this room from the materials and they put this iron structure to sustain the upper floor. Thanks to this structure and other contemporary elements in this monastery, it's possible to consider this place a contemporary building 
So it's ancient, but it's building at the same, it's the ancient and contemporary at the same time. So I think that this is a beautiful structure because it lights the lava stone of 1669 with its original color.